Mark. You guys are still watching this spot and we have been having a good time so far. Hopefully you have as well. Remember that you can always check us out on Twitter, on Facebook, send us an email on entertainment at ebonylifetv.com and you can always check out youtube.com forward slash ebonylifetv if you want to watch some old episodes as well. If you want to be my lover. Sorry. It's time for our spot of music. That was not it. Um, <laughs> what is it is One Day Call with the, with the song Superwoman. And I don't ever want to see you cry, baby. And I don't ever want to see you go. And I don't ever want to see you sad. You like this haircut? No. I've said it before. I don't like. Uh, I don't. I don't. I, I'm not a fan of this look for one day. Um, and uh, yeah, so the song. It's, there's this storyline about you know obviously this couple and the guy. In the beginning, you know he gets taken away by police, and the next scene you see him coming out of the police station, and he promises the girl, "Oh, this won't happen again." And she goes, "Yes, it will." <laughs> but I guess she's okay with it. But yeah, so he's in with sort of a bad group of guys. It's in the end, or whatever. It's in the end. Pardon? He's in the end. Yeah, he's in the end. Yeah, and so, you know, stuff is going on. Looks like, <laughs> looks like some kind of drug and, thing. And uh, the police eventually come and they, they get one of them. They, the rest of them sort of scatter. And he's there with his superwoman chilling, enjoying life or whatnot. And um, it's actually a very interesting end to a video because it's one of those to be continued videos. The end was so surprising. I was actually shocked when I saw the end. Have you seen the video? What happened at the end? The girl gets shot. The police, the police shoot her. Like she's coming out of the house, and the police, they shoot her because they think she has a weapon. Meanwhile, she, you know, he, he was being thankful. It was her birthday or something. He brings her a cake. Happy birthday to my superwoman. They're eating cake. The police then come to look for him. Again. So apparently, what it is, is the end. What we saw okay, in the beginning the was the okay, end. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So they come out to see him. Um, to, to get him and she's, she just happens to be coming down the stairs and coming out of the door and mm. they're just like stop 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 uh, drop your weapon and they shoot her and then they rush in and he's coming down the stairs like what's going on so he doesn't even know what happened to her so it's when he's coming out at the end he sees it he's like oh my gosh and then they do to be continued so it was a bit of a cliffhanger but they never continue these things I know they it gets on my nerves Nicole does. it really does get when on did my he continue? nerves wasn't there a to be continued for um, private trips so what was the continuation I can't remember but there was one <laughs> First of all, I want you to know what it was because Look, this right here that you're doing you're is You're putting me on the spot, so clearly I can't, I'm not <laughs> You sounded well, so you shocked. Well, you volunteered the information. Why did yeah, you know? Did. Anyway, so what did I, am, <laughs> I am a one Stop day call supporter. <laughs> so I am I? I think his voice is awesome. So I will not let anybody hear. But this song you guys is come sweet. for his hair all the time. You we come don't come for his hair all the time. You do. Not all the time. I just said, I've said it once that I just don't think this is the best look for him. Anyway, this Luna, song is sense? amazing. I love the entire album. One day I have a question. Can you I have a question. Come on the show? Yeah, he should come on the show. And yes. when you come on the show one day, I have a question. I want to know why you're, you're loving this superwoman casually or gradually. Why? If she's a superwoman, why aren't you just loving her all inly? I don't you know. You have to form small. <laughs> form small. Not when you she's can, taking you the hits for you. You play all your cards like on the first day, man. Oh, you have to. Sorry. Okay. Release this small, small. Okay. He's super talented. Very so much talented. so. From the days of Olo Fair, which is still one of my favorite Wande Cole songs. Olo Fair. It's a sweet, sweet, sweet song. Alrighty, so it's time for us to get our guest in for the day. Yes, it is. Ibuka, are you going to do the honors or shall yes, I? Yes, I will. Okay. Um, we have a special guest in the house, as always. Um, she's a uh, very interesting. <laughs> like, I really want to meet her because she yeah. has like so many parts to her. Yeah. Um, you all know her probably as the Prezi Do. Prezi Do. On social media, especially Instagram. But um, she's a humanitarian and a stylish somebody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please make some noise for Adama Indimi. Woo! Welcome, welcome. Woo, woo! <laughs> <laughs> so happy to be here. Yes. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Uh, hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Welcome. Yes. You can Zena, sit here. Yeah, you can sit right there. <laughs> I, I've been back. Sorry, Zena. Do you want to? Okay, yeah. yeah. It's okay. I'll pull up a chair. I think the first surprise for me meeting you was how tall you are. 
Well, I'm wearing heels, to be fair, but even, I, even besides the heels, I like, hear I look like, a lot you shorter look like, than you I actually honestly, am. <laughs> I honestly picture every time I see a picture of you like five one or five two. Really? Like, yes. Yeah, no, I, I get that a lot. I, I, that I, lot. I, I don't even think I think short every time I see. You think it. short, like yeah. petite? Yeah. Huh. Okay. So yeah. tell them now that I am tall. I'm tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five so. nine. That's okay. pretty tall. Yeah, yeah no. that's pretty tall. How are you doing? Good, good. You're in Abuja. Thank you, guys. Yes. You stay in Abuja. Yes, and it's nice and really nice yes. to be in Abuja. in Abuja. I mean, in, in Lagos, Lagos. Mm -hmm. for a bit. How so often really do you nice. come to Lagos? Um, I'd say well, maybe once a month. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. But Work not for play. long, right? No, no. <laughs> Work mainly. Yes, uh, yes. And to also. Stock up on some told you for you. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, wear. I, I was like, wait, is she I love wear, me some she told you. Yeah. She wear told you for a piece for us today. <laughs> nice. No, no, no. You mentioned work then. I wanted to ask about the humanitarian side because, yes. um, I mean, it's interesting that you do that. Most young people would not necessarily call themselves humanitarians. Right. So, what was the attraction for you? Um, well, it was just an experience during Ramadan last year. Uh, a lady had approached me. Uh, speaking about a lot of IDPs in yeah. Abuja, which we know is very rampant, mm -hmm. and it's, it's 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 a real issue. Yeah. So during Ramadan, it's a time of giving, you know. And as a Muslim, you you you're expected to give back to your community yeah. in mm -hmm. some way, other than just the fasting. So yeah. it was a really good experience teaming up with uh, this lady and. We basically tried to go around as many mosques and as many mm. IDP camps to feed people, and we managed mm. to do about 350 people a day nice. oh, wow. for the whole Good. month. For yes. 40, how long is that? 30 days. 30 30 days. 30 that's days. right. Wow. That's that's it was an extra, oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. Yeah. yes. You know Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Logistics, Logistics is, is yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it was. After a while, you just it's not really work because the satisfaction you get from it alone mm -hmm. is, is amazing. And mm -hmm. it really does teach you a lot. Yeah. Teaches you a lot about um, being more humble, being more grateful. Mm -hmm. way you about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break now. When we come back, we'll get to know more about our guest, Adama, in the house. And of course, we'll have a special topic for you. You want to stick around for it. Welcome back to the spot. Remember that you can always chip in on the topic or whatever we're talking about via Facebook, Twitter, send us an email, or check out our old episodes as well on YouTube just to get a spot flavor. So we've been joined by Adama Indimi, and we've been talking about just kind of her humanitarian work. So I wanted to ask, like, you, with Ramadan and what you did last year, obviously you fed a range of people from children to adults and things yes. like that, but is there, are there any groups that you're particularly passionate about, or do you just want to do all kinds of humanitarian work? Well, that's a very good question, actually, because at the end of the day, you can give a man fish, but yeah. to teach him to fish is much more important. Right. So while we were there, we actually set up uh, training facilities okay. for people for just a short amount of time to train them so that they could train each other. Mm, okay. So uh, we did from sewing to, so mainly women, yeah. especially m women with children. And you'd be surprised that, well, you wouldn't be surprised that most women in IDP camps are pregnant. Oh. There's not much time. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of time, rather. So there's not yeah. many activities in an idle mind. Yeah. And um, I mean, during one of our training sessions, a woman gave, like, um, sorry, oh, wow. went into labor as we were there. Wow. So there are a lot of, uh, um, I'd say definitely the women, because they somehow give back. It mm. seeps back through the children, etc. Yeah. But but with the men, they usually just go out, go work, bring yeah, out the money, and that's it. Okay. But with women, they teach. They, yeah. they, 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 they try to pass the on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so Girl many power. women. So yeah. is this something that you're going to do again this year? Or are there other things yes, that you're planning? Yes, I mean, we hope to do it every year. Yeah. And uh, we've got a lot of activities happening in Abuja. So okay. if you just check out my Instagram, you'll find yeah. lots of things to do there. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to ask about the IDPs now, which yeah. actually means internally displaced Placed. persons. Yes. And seeing as we've had a few issues in Nigeria in the last couple of years, we have a lot of them now. And there's some sort of a disconnect mm -hmm. between Nigerians and what actually IDP, what happens in those camps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so just give us an idea of what you see there and because people need to know and yeah. probably try and help if they can. Yeah. Yes. Well, one of the first things you'll notice is the amount of children. Hmm. 
you see a lot of adults, but children from babies oh, to wow. teenagers, there are so many. And that's probably the one thing that I question. Yes, we talk about in dis um, internally displaced people, but what about the children who yeah. were born into this? Right. They don't know anything else. Mm. So who are they going to become? And that's a very large part of our society yeah. that's going to grow up as internally displaced person. Yeah. Now, what, what does that mean for the future? Yeah. You know? And um, I'd say what I, what I like is when I go to an, um, an IDP camp, I ask, I speak, I talk to the people. And some of the stories that you hear on how they even got there, it's, it's you it's don't harrowing. sleep at night. Yeah. You really don't sleep at night. Right. The, the, like, for example, there was a woman who, who had five children and she was running away from Boko Haram, but she spoke about how she held her children in her hands as they like walked through swamps wow. and moving like dead bodies oh away goodness. from so that they could get through. through. But it was the only way for them to get through safely yeah. because they just dead people wow. and it's off the road. Only at night time do they come out and start walking on the road. Oh, right. But during oh. the daytime they're just swimming through cadavers. Through. Oh, so yes. when you hear stories it really makes you grateful. Is government, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know we don't want to bash per se, but is government doing stuff? Because I've heard st stories about, you know, there's Never. no food. Something as basic as even feeding. Yeah, getting them through meals a day. We can't even talk about day. schooling. I'm talking about yeah. right. basic feeding. Does that even I think I think they are. They, I mean, when we first got there, there was there were... We, we mentioned Nema and they were, the, the, the people weren't too happy to hear it. Okay. But eventually they did start... Nema started coming in mm -hmm. and um, helping out a bit more. And I'd say feeding them wasn't really actually an issue okay. okay and speaking as someone that goes and takes food it does it doesn't make a difference because it, they have oh. so much okay. right now yeah especially in abuja now, but this is abuja we're yeah, talking about more okay. camps even Out, up exactly north. and yeah. those are the ones that i feel that need more attention yeah. because abuja they There's even so many sell people. You the can, things that they get oh that's wow. how much oh, okay. yes they receive a lot so that's why you have to think what's the point of handing them the food, food yeah. you've got to Train. give them things that give them exactly. more value for their Thanks. lives like their exactly actual. Okay. exactly all right so basically that feeds into our topic for the day which is showing your human side mm -hmm. and i just feel like our generation is in a very special unique place um where where a group of young people i would say that have adjusted to the way the fast-paced life. Mm -hmm. So it's there's a there's a hustle mentality. You know, you gotta get you gotta get stuff. You gotta be good. And I wonder if that has made us hard, like made us made us immune to other people's suffering and mm. other people's sort of struggles. Like, do you find that, or is that maybe a wrong impression? Um, no. Sorry, before you answer, yeah. what's our juice? Water, please. Ah. Thank you. Um, I. With that, I'd say it's all about our society. You know, the society we live in. I don't know if you've heard of this um, Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of, of needs. needs. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you don't have s basic needs, mm. it's hard for you to move up and think of other things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes when you see certain people, like in America, they'll, they'll tie a rope from a building to another and walk across it. Like, who yeah. gave you the time to think of that? <laughs> that you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's because you're not hungry. <laughs> you don't need anything. You know, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Right. So you, you, you know that there are certain priorities, mm -hmm. yes, in people's minds. And yeah. you don't actually realize that once you, once you put giving back as a priority, mm -hmm. it usually does have like an inflow of blessings, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, and Nigeria, we believe in God. We really do. We're very much, you know, from yes. everything. I mean, yeah. I'm a, I was on my way to the studio here and literally there was a pastor on the road with some guy like, <laughs> giving them the prayer. And I was like, <laughs> yes, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, so, so yes, everybody needs that softness. I yeah. think it, I, you do. I agree. Um, it is very hard to, um, I believe in terms of giving, I, I think that you can't, 
you can't give what it is you don't have, number yeah, one. Exactly. Um, and sometimes being in, in Nigeria, when you give something or the little that you do have, it's never enough. Mm -hmm. So people hesitate to continue to do. Yeah. And that happens within families or work or whatever. Even if you're lending something out to someone, they're just like, ah, is that it? Yeah. And yeah. I think I've spoken about a story once here where... Um, can, we, can we hold your story okay, for a bit? Okay, okay. Yeah. We'll hold um, it. We're going to go on a quick break and when we come back, we'll find out what Zainab's story is and we'll be talking more about the human side right here on the spot. Hi guys, welcome back to the spot and we have uh, the president of Instagram here, um, Adama Indumi in the house. Uh, we're talking about um, showing your human side. And before we left uh, for a break, I was about to share a story about, um, so my mom is in textiles and we have stores in the market. Mm -hmm. And you know, regularly you get, you know, people coming, walking by, asking for things, money or whatever. Uh, and what she tends to do is that she'll give them like food or something mm -hmm. if she doesn't have cash. So they'd given, I think one of the girls, one of the sales girls had given this guy I don't know if it was like 20 naira or 50 naira or something. And he looked at it. <laughs> and then he dropped it on the floor. No. And it kept on walking. So I was thinking, wait, what exactly do you want? Yeah. At that point. Yeah. You got given money and, and the money away. wasn't enough for you or what you thought you should get. You should have been given. So or you threw beneath. it away. Yeah, or it's been, yeah, yeah, or it's been yeah. Easier. So it just like those are the kind of things that I see, and I think it's just very discouraging for mm -hmm. people to even want to give. And I know that I, I already had a hard day. hysteria. Like, okay. Yeah, oh, I, okay, I've already okay. like my perception is you know work for what it is you know you, you want, want to get. So coming here, sometimes I do see things, and I do see that I've gotten a lot harder. Mm -hmm. I see maybe a, a, um, a man who doesn't, um, who's in a wheelchair but still selling for charge cards. And I'm yeah. like, look, this is somebody putting in mm -hmm. some sort work. of work. Yeah, to make money. And I will buy, even if I don't need, need that recharge it. card, yep. I'll buy it because okay. I feel like he's doing something. Mm -hmm. Then I'll see maybe another man in the same circumstance not doing anything. Well, much so better circumstance. So yeah, there's much better. that struggle as well between am I being too insensitive or yeah. is this justified? Yeah. It's just... There are so many components. Okay, I think for me, the, the issue I find most times, at least with me and most people I know, is what to give back f for or with. You know, you find that, like you said, the basic thing is, oh, you see a beggar, you give them money. Mm -hmm. But then we, we know, like you said, most so times are they really beggars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you, yes. you, want to, you might be giving with no hard feelings or anything, but is it going to the right person or mm -hmm. to the right place, you know? Mm -hmm. And I find that sometimes there's not a lot of information on what, okay, I want to do this, where do I go? Yeah. Which is why you find most times celebrities do things and he's there every time it's a, it's a motherless baby, baby yeah. which is a good thing, yeah. you know? But some people probably want to do other things, they mm -hmm. want to help other people. Yeah. Like the IDP camps, I can assure you that there's millions of people in Abuja who don't know that there's an IDP camp in Abuja. Mm. Mm. There's no, they just, I mean, they just, they just yeah. and there are a lot because of most people hear IDP and you just think instantly it's in Medugri somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably somewhere behind their houses. You know? Yeah, so sometimes information is also very Key. important, and we don't know how to find them. I agree. I just wanted to touch on the fact that um, some of these uh, associations, um, not NGOs? trying to take away from what it is that they do, like homes and so on, they do have certain restrictions that prevent you from trying to do certain things. Right. So, for instance, last year. Um, uh, we put together a bunch of like gift boxes for kids during Christmas mm -hmm. and we wanted to go and give it to them and spend some time with them but they weren't they, they told us that we had to leave everything at like reception yeah you couldn't away. see we couldn't see or couldn't spend time with them and mm -hmm. so on that like, you have to go through like some long booking process and I'm like we just, we just, just wanted, wanted to see the kids and yeah. And yeah yeah no it's annoying when things are Things Red like that are mm -hmm. yeah, get in the way. Bureaucracy, but yeah. right? like, why must we go through papers to yeah to, to just go. give? For someone yeah. who you think, um, like you said, I mean, you said if you when you give back and you don't feel anything, you're probably an alien. <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> For people who are not necessarily into giving back, you know, is there a way? Of, what do you tell that sort of a person to say, to maybe encourage? Are there things you should say, or do you just do things around them to make them? Yeah, you know, get notice? them to join yeah. in on things. Yes, it's definitely when someone sees someone else doing, get doing um, it motivates them. Mm -hmm. It does, it, it, I've, I've realized that a lot. Yeah. And um, 
you, you like you said you don't if you don't know it's there you, you won't. probably won't be able exactly. to do anything so so the the best way i believe is just, just and you know the, back to when you were saying about um whether when you're giving something and is it going to the right place yeah. you just never know you just you know so you don't never know so you should just yes just do it anyway. I mean, if, if if it's coming from a good place that's really all that matters. Yeah. If he goes goes and and you know decides to do something, the black, you're still okay. Yep. You're still good, and and yeah. and because the intention was there. So, yeah. so at the end of the day, I think for everybody, if you have the intention, I think intention is so important. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you have the intention. You go out, and even if it's just that fifty naira that was thrown on the floor, I guarantee you that Somebody if she's, it let it go. Mm. It's fine. Yeah. It's good. It's it's. It, it's more, I believe, self-development than mm -hmm. anything, mm -hmm. you know. And, yeah. and, and I believe that everybody should be at least trying to self-develop in yeah. some way. Yeah. You know, so yeah. if you're trying to self-develop, this is a perfect way to do it. Yeah, just find yeah. something that you're interested in. Because also to that point, I was going to say that um, sometimes people, they don't give back because they don't feel connected to that particular the thing. Well, yeah, then maybe they don't want to give to a beggar, for yeah, example. Yeah. But they they really like kids. So mm -hmm. if they really like kids, then maybe there's an educational thing that they can give back with. And it's not always giving back with money. Like you can give no, back with your time. You can just sit and absolutely. Yeah, you read go books spend some time. with read bo exactly schools you know, or yeah. um, uh, the other thing I was gonna say is that trying to actively schedule a a, a gesture of kindness in your day yeah. is also a good thing. That's, yeah. I have a friend who um, for like uh, a month when she was going to work, she would write little notes on cars and leave them like randomly. Mm. So little things like, it may be hard now, but don't Not worry, Lagos, everything is right? going to be okay. I mean, just <laughs> it wasn't in Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say but, uh, like, uh, uh, who's dropping like, things on the floor? It's really yeah. hard now. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so just okay. do something random and kind. Well, like, in Lagos yeah. now, I think they said, um, the governor has said we should stop giving beggars money. Yeah. yeah. Does it, they have a three month yeah. ultimatum or something to yeah. leave the streets. So I don't know how that's supposed to happen. Well, when, when the government solutions. themselves are planning to do something, something about maybe. it, then, yeah. then you understand. But yeah. they don't just tell me. Don't just tell them to. Yeah. yeah. yeah but if, if, if you're telling me, well, you you're going against the progress we're going, to, then that's fine. It makes sense. Yeah. And I, I, I think everybody should yeah. be thinking about this because it could be us. Could Any one of us. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. just by the grace of God. I'm from May degree. Yeah. I could be an IDP. Yeah. An in um, internally displaced person. Yeah. It's yeah. that simple. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a break now. Yes. When we come back, we're going to be talking about shaming and all the things that surround it. <laughs> we'll wow. see you guys in a moment. Welcome back to the spot. Um, we're still talking about the showing the human side, and uh, we're still, you know, having a chat with Adama. And before the break, you were talking about shaming. Yeah. You like the shaming of of people who don't give, or yeah, people two, who two have things. two things, right? Two things. Yeah. Like, okay. There's a shaming of those who don't give. Mm -hmm. You find that a lot on social media now, where it's yep. like, ah, this guy is begging for money. You this celebrity, or you this. Why are you not Giving, contributing? Yeah. You know, or why haven't you lent your voice? Save whoever. Without necessarily knowing if the person has, and just didn't make it public. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, there's also the shame. There's also the shaming of why you, what you're giving to. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen people I, like I even mentioned here now about the motherless babies home. But I've seen right. people say, "Oh, why is it every time you go to mother this motherless baby's home?" My other brother, for example, does a thing with prisons, mm -hmm. and he goes to Kirikiri, um, which is the most notorious prison in Nigeria. Yeah, every month. And he does something for them like at Easter and mm -hmm. at major holidays. He cooks and goes with like friends. One time he tried to do a concert for them with artists and everything. Okay. He didn't pull through eventually. But I mean, it's something he does actively. Mm -hmm. And he does it mostly because, I mean, we have a prison system here where more than half of the prisoners are awaiting trial. So mm -hmm. they're probably innocent anyways. And even if they are guilty, prison is to reform, not necessarily to condemn and mm -hmm. all of that. But he gets a lot of, why are you doing it for prisoners? Mm -hmm. All this money you're wasting, why not give it to mothers yeah, or mm. babies who need it you know so it's like why are we shaming someone who's actually doing something so i'm wondering if you get that um i i, I get more of the why are you posting it on social yeah. media there's oh, also that like, why yeah. are you showing it yeah. that i get yeah. most of the time oh, I see, yeah, and yeah. um you just 
yeah. move forward. Tune it out. I don't care about what you think. I'm not doing this for you. Yeah. You yeah. know, I've seen the amount of people that were motivated. So I, I tell people like when you're going to do something good and not just one you know, Talking random act, but consistent. like you, you're, you're trying to get people to motivate them to teach them something, to let them know that these are these, there are these people here, or you know, like open people's minds. Don't listen to to shame of anybody. You keep going, mm. you keep going. You, you. I get it all the time. Yeah. I get, I get. You're not. Do, you're doing this for the fame, yeah. honey. I had the fame before. I did. Go, go. Oh, she said. Okay. She okay. 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 No, it's not. You didn't snap. No. <laughs> really really you just keep going there's there's no shame if you're doing it for you you're doing it for you you're not doing it for anyone else and um just like i commend uh is it your friend or my your, other brother your, your brother that's doing the prison thing i've like yeah. i yeah. you know it's some just like you just said like people would forget people yeah. won't even remember that this kind of These thing happens and it's really amazing don't yeah. let him Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been there with him once. It was scary. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'm not as passionate say. about it as yeah. he is. Yes, but yes. it is scary because this is the maximum security prison. Yes. So yes. they're like murderers and robbers and like hardcore criminals. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you see them just go like jelly when they see jello fries and fried meats. Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> oh they don't get because to eat that very often. Yeah. Yeah. Or they hear music. Oh. You right. know? Just basic Little things. things. Or they just see people who they don't see every day. Yeah. Right. So there's like new visitors. Oh, how are you? Oh. They wanted to have like all the conversations with me that day. I was just like, I'm out of here. All right. So, Anima, it is time for Game on. Game on. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. We're playing Heads Up today. Okay. And that's where we, I don't know if we should just show you. Well, basically, we have to act stuff out. Okay. So, oh. you pick, okay. pick who you want to have on your team. Okay. And, uh, Choose wisely, because some people are known for losing. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Zainab, you are my team. Because she said it. Zainab, you are my team. Get out. You want to thank him home. And she's the one okay. who loses, sorry. Uh, no, don't worry. You have to stand it's up okay. with her. Oh, yeah, she is. We'll no, we're going to do like, it's the height thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's what so you watch us play, so you understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Do you want to start or should I start? Okay, okay you've got to guess. Yes. Yeah, so you got to guess the game. Okay, so I'll act it out. Okay. Play. Which yeah. one is up or down? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Place okay. on forehead. Okay. okay. I'm ready. Okay, this one. Mm -hmm. No, skip. <laughs> Diving. Diving. Uh, um, skydiving. Yes, next. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Ake. Hungry. Yes, next. Folding clothes? Yes. Next. That, no. Uh, clothes. Sneezing? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I can't say that. What? Next. Okay, going upstairs. Going upstairs. Going up. You see, now you said it. Next. <laughs> no. What is wrong with you? Okay. D giving directions? Stopping the taxi. Taxi. Hitchhiking. Next. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Next, charades. I don't know how to do. Controlling traffic. Traffic. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> yeah. <Woo. laughs> duck, duck. Okay. I skipped like duck, duck, goose. I'm like, I don't know what that is. One, we got skydiving, hungry, three, folding, no, no. Four, five, six. Okay, we got okay. six. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. I've done better though. Um, you want to pick a different... Just do the one that you know. Do the one put, you know. <laughs> just pick Act It Out. Act It Out. What do you want? Superstars or... Don't worry, just do Act It Out. <laughs> I don't you like guys have one, one chance. I hope it's not too hard. You know what, that's what we just did. These are, these are not Nigerian. You will not see one Australian right celebrity right that you don't know. All right, exactly. We'll Why is it? Okay. Okay. Uh-uh. Ready? Okay. Your fans are watching. No, your fans. Represent. Don't disgrace your family here. Oh. Pass. Pass. I'm, I'm shouting, no, no, being no. angry, pushing, <laughs> uh, scaring. Yeah. <laughs> um, skipping, skipping yeah, we'll it on jump, jump, jump. Yeah, yeah. Surfing. Yes. Surfing. Uh, she's good. Yes. Oh. Uh, spraying perfume. Go. <laughs> uh -huh. Shaking hands, greeting someone. <laughs> yes. I'm busy. I'm busy. Yes. Um, oh. Let's see you describe that. Uh, peeling a banana. No, no, no. Um, eating, 
A cupcake. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, can I? No. No props. Reading a magazine, a book. Reading. Yeah. <laughs> Blowing a balloon. Yes. Damn it! Um, pass, pass. <laughs> Let's get one more. Typing on a computer, laptop, uh, keyboard. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Time's up. Typewriter. Type type you, type you guys did well. You guys did well. I hope we beat you guys. You got scaring someone, jumping rope, surfing, putting on perfume, shaking hands, cupcake, reading, How replacing about? a balloon. Eight. Woo, you got eight, eight. guys. Okay. What? I'm not, so playing, I'm not playing again. What? No. No, no we still no. have one more round. <laughs> we still have one more round, guys. We're going to go on a break. And when we come back, we shall see who is victorious in this game. All right. Even though we already know. No, you yes. don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Welcome back to the spot, guys. We're in the middle of a game. It's time now to find out who is going to win. Lamide and Ibuka, this is your chance to lose. Go ahead. Better do a good job. <laughs> Oh, mm -mm. Flipping pages. ATM. Oh. Yo-yoing. Using a telescope. DJing. Choking. I don't know where this is going. Swimming. Holding a baby, feeding a baby, breastfeeding. Oh. <laughs> Vomiting? Throwing up? Okay. Reading palms. Oh my god. <laughs> what? This is Ironing. <laughs> oh, it's on. Putting on earrings, piercing ears. Mm -mm. Come on. What's the next one? Yes, oh, what is it? I don't know. Pressing, pushing. Tapping. Oh. You don't pass some nice yeah, ones. Exactly. I'm sorry, I it didn't was know. counting down. You thought it was passing. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Hunk, a horn. Yo yo, ah. telescope, DJing, oh, wow. choking, Making swimming, sorry. feeding a baby. Oh, poker, throwing up, palm reading, God. ironing, piercing your ear. Oh, wow. Oh, ten. We got, yeah. No, we got nine. Count again. Oh, okay, we got gosh. ten. Yeah. We got nine. Ten. Seriously. <laughs> Oh, Why did you remove it? Sorry. <laughs> we got 10. ten. We got ten. Okay. It you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're about to get two. Don't touch Place me. Place on forehead. Ready. Go go. Go. Okay. You know she's ugly like tense. She's so tense. <laughs> come on, come on, girl. Oh, okay. Oh, Skip girl, it. no. Uh -huh. Skip it. <laughs> uh, blowing bubbles. Ooh. That's how you know she's tush. Uh, Changing a diaper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you do, by the way. Yeah. Uh, hailing a taxi. Stop moving your mouth. Um, diving. <laughs> Boxing. <laughs> oh, she's good. Uh -uh. <laughs> Winking. Uh, nope. Working out. No. No. Crunches. No. No. Crunches. She got it. It's crutches. The word was crutches. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Keep going. Uh, reading, reading a magazine, a newspaper. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh. That was like four. Uh, skiing. Oh, two <laughs> Let's see. How many you got? So we got eight the first time. Yeah, and then you got blowing bubbles, changing a diaper, Hailing. hitting a cab, diving, boxing, That's winking. It. That's it. Reading, Reading a newspaper. newspaper. Yeah, that's it. You got seven. Well, I seven, to but like oh, no, we you got eight, and then earlier. you got seven, which makes fifteen. We got ten, and then we got six the first time, which makes sixteen, which makes. No, 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 it's unfortunate. We're not being good humans you right now. Warned. <laughs> it's a wow. tie. You got Honestly. served. Yeah, I said, wow. It's a tie. Yeah, you know Zena is upset. Yeah, she's upset. <laughs> she's always upset about it. games. Don't worry. Oh my God. Once um, the cameras cut, the real game starts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be playing. I'm sorry. You were, you were warned. <laughs> no, Next it's a tie. It is dangerous, dangerous playing boxes, games with us. We get really tense about it. Okay, let's let's now find out who's going to win with push-ups. Huh? Who's push-ups? 
Who's doing push-ups? Since it's a tie. <laughs> we don't do push-ups. Volunteer oh, well, somebody. Okay, well, I volunteer from my team, Ibuka, <laughs> to do the push-ups. Who's going from your team? Go ahead. Ha. No? So it has won. to be one-on-one. -on -one. So we, we won. Don't do so you agree that we won? You don't understand. Our what do team, you do? We don't believe in do that. You do crutches? No, we just drink. <laughs> no, we woke up like this. Oh. Yeah, so. Well, thank you very much for being here today. Thank Thanks for you. sharing valuable knowledge. Like she said, please do not be ashamed to give back. Do not be ashamed to stop. Mm -hmm. Into stopping. Yeah. And most importantly, just do it because you'll feel better when you do. Yes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Toodles. Happy birthday again, Didi. Thanks.